Hello YouTube, this is Mia Vibes. Today I'm going to show you two of the journals that I made for my Etsy shop and I am going to try to list them today and you'll be able to find all the information about these notebooks or these journals um, in the description box. So let me go ahead and show you this first one. I'm just going to put it right here. So this one is going to be probably called um, Super Sweet Junk Journal Version 2 because I've made version 1 before. So the overall theme is that um, just like a happy, bright, spring, um, anything that's going to remind you of the like uh, nature, of course, because I love using nature images in my junk journals. So let me just show you from the cover, actually. Um, this cover was a cardstock paper craft. Um, it's the one that I use all the time for a lot of my junk journals for traveler's notebooks. And when you first open it, I have this beautiful scenery with some clouds and some mountain and grass and stuff. I thought this was very gorgeous, especially also because I have some flower images in the back. So that's the very first page you have in this journal. And I have beautiful and very soft um, Japanese calligraphy paper here. And this book page has a, such a beautiful um, like a bunny, rabbit. It kind of reminds me of Easter. And also I realized I use like a couple of like a rabbit images from like on the journals that I made today. I didn't mean to do that, but it just, you know, happens to be in April, I guess. But anyway, this is very cute. And the next book page is this, um, book is called practical problem solver so basically if you have any questions about like how to do anything that book is supposed to like explain it to you with some illustrations and I really like their like soft illustrations so that's why I bought it and then I'm glad that I used it today and I have a tracing paper and this is gonna be the vintage art magazine I decided to put it in here because um, this image is very cute um, this is like a vintage Chinese plate and when you flip it there's also um, such a beautiful carpet image with a lot of patterns so I just thought that that was very interesting and I have some old music sheet here and this book page is from one of the garden books that I have. Usually I use like those vivid um, flower images which I have um, for these journals also. But anyway, I decided to use some illustrations this time and I really like it. I like to see the little sprouts and the soft colors which happen to really match um, the next paper that I used. This is from a book, um, a, it's a book about how to make this kind of chair covers or pillowcases and stuff and the colors that they use and the techniques that they use for these paintings are just so soft and beautiful so I decided to use it and I like that this book has a lot of empty spots in case you know you um, want to write a lot like there's a lot of rooms on these pages and the next page is my other garden book probably and this just shows you um, a lot of roses this is just so gorgeous and so nice and when you flip it the, the other side is not very cute but still you can cover it up and you can make writing spots on here and this is some other kind of calligraphy paper and I have beautiful scenery here. I think this is from my book that's called Landscapes of Texas. I wanted to keep the book without using it at all because the book was so like pretty, just full of a lot of um, beautiful images. And I live in Texas, so I love the book. 
but I just decided to use the pages because just because they're really beautiful and I wanted to share it with you know other people too because um, well this is a very nice view right now but I just love looking at these views it kind of reminds me of Bob Ross also and all this reflection if you know what I'm talking about so yeah I have this and this is a page from a book about how to raise um, your children so they basically give you a lot of guidelines about like how you should feed your children or like what kind of books you need to read to them or you can take them to these kind of places and stuff like that so um, but anyway their illustrations are very very beautiful and unique and the books not that old but um, the images have like really vintage looks to it so I thought that it was very interesting and because the book is not that old and also they use really really good paper I like that I'm adding this like thick piece of paper here also so I decided to put this page on the center actually and I have more of that um, scenery and some flowers here calligraphy paper and the rose paper this is the other side of that sofa <laughs> and this is the other side of that illustration from the like a garden book and there's some root pictures they are so cute and there's some more of the music and the carpet and the other side of the Chinese plate paper and there is a little scenery over here too, with trees and um, mountains and stuff and tracing paper oh and this is the reason why I picked this um, page from this book because of this section camera and I really like um, seeing this soft yellow or vivid yellow and the camera that looks kind of older so I thought that that was very cute um, and there's more image about camping camp baking that's cool and that's the other side of the little, little bunny page and that book is like about like a horses or horse riding or something like that so I have a little horse image right there too and then Japanese calligraphy paper and I have lovely animal images right here and that's the other side of that foggy mountain so when I made this notebook I thought that it was gonna be a little um, how should I say like a pinkier but it's not exactly like that but I have some more I didn't like uh, find them yet but I just I can just show you really quickly like what kind of images the other journals are gonna have as you can see I have like four books right now to sell but um, I can definitely make more of this if they sell well I kind of like made it that way so like um, kind of designed it that way I should say that way if they sell well I can make more because sometimes I do make um, inserts or notebooks that I cannot make anymore because I don't have a lot of the same kind of paper or you know book pages and stuff but yeah there are some other like images and stuff so yeah that's the I guess super sweet junk journals and I'm gonna put the details and stuff like that in the um, in the essay listings as well and let me show you the white journals that I have this time so now let's talk about the white junk journal so this white journal is basically um, like a bunch of like a white paper mostly blends and there could be some colors but today I think they happen to be all in like black and white um, I made this before exactly the same way and I have um, 
but they were all sold out so I just decided to make some more because it was just so fun to make these and they are just so beautiful they are one of my favorite journals that I've ever made in the traveler's notebook insert um, size but anyway um last time when I sold them I made a like a cover with the like a wax um, how should I say like a wax wrapping paper so right now I haven't done that part yet because um, just because I wanted to hurry up and make the video and post it so that you guys can you know have some information more information or the idea about the notebook I just wanted to do that I don't know I just felt like doing that so I just haven't done it yet but if you go to feel good parcel account you'll be able to see the the cover is the wax um, wax paper wrapping paper I don't know what I'm saying cover so let me just show you what's going on in here um, this cover is a little different because I decided to make this as a, like a fold out like a cover so you can you know always tuck something you can even do something like this too you can like try to put the whole thing here also or if you want you can absolutely glue this part so you can just have a like a pocket where you can tuck stuff in um, but the pages are pretty much all blanks and last time when I made these um, inserts I did have some colors but I just don't have it, have a lot of like colors this time it's just uh, basically the paper and some like a black inks that's all I have so the very first page for this one is the car stuff and it's just very grungy and I love the way it looks so that's that um, beautiful copy dyed paper and this is uh, like this is a list of like music from my vintage music um, music sheet like music books but it has just a lot of blanks and I love the cream color of this paper so I decided to use this here and this is just a small um, like some kind of science book but the back side was blank and I thought that that was very interesting so I used it here and this is the Japanese calligraphy paper paper calligraphy paper yeah that's the word right yeah and this is an old book page this is the uh, like for the chapter the ch like a like a title page for the chapter um, but I thought that that um, this writing this font was very interesting and also it has nice really like aged look so um, and this is I think coffee dyed handwriting I'm sorry calligraphy paper and when I made the coffee dye paper, I already like fold it. So I sometimes I just, you know, fold here. But this time I thought that it was going to be just interesting because this journal doesn't have a lot of images or anything like that. So I just decided to do anything that's going to add more textures or shades or any kind of interest. So that's what we have all the wrinkles and these are um, a little like a torn also can you see it's because the pages the paper was very fragile and um, it's just how it is when you like coffee dye and on this side this is just a blank page that's like on the very um, like in the very beginning or end of a book so um, I don't know how to say this. I don't know if there is any word for this kind of papers, but that's those papers. You know, before the extra pages begin, they put this kind of blank paper. It's kind of thick, so I think whoever gets this will enjoy the texture and writing on you know this paper. And I should have made this like I should have put this in the front, like right here. But this is. Uh, I'm um, just a blank page from a book that's like that teaches you how to teach children I guess I have a lot of books like that <laughs> and this is a mixed, me mixed media paper I just torn it from my own sketchbook because last time I had this um, look and that was just very interesting and nice so that's what I have here 
and this is um, very last page I guess for this um, English French dictionary very old and I love this color so much and this is some more um, calligraphy paper tracing paper music sheet and this is also one of those blank pages that's in the very beginning of a book so let's just keep going just to show you what we have and these are very nice I'm gonna show you in a little bit like how I'm using mine it just um, I do enjoy doing a lot of like heavy junk journaling with a lot of a lot of stuff going on but sometimes I just love this kind of like a neutral page and not a lot of things going on on my pages also of course you can add a lot of things and you can do a lot of writing you can do um, you know memory keeping you know what let me just put it like this you can do a lot of things but um, I also I haven't bound them but I have two more so it's gonna be three that are gonna be listed today Again, I'm going to leave the information in the description box. And let me just quickly show you how I'm using mine. The reason why I decided to make that was because I have my own. I've made one for myself. Um, and this is... Excuse my mess. And this is a B6 Slim. And as you can see, I've made one before for myself. And this is the cover that I was talking about. So I'm going to be adding like one of these covers to those white journals. And But I'm not going to be, I'm just going to be like a folding the parts like in or whatever. I'm not going to be like gluing the, the cover to the the extra cover or anything like that. So just letting you know, that's already in the se listing but just letting you know and as you can see here um, I did some decorations and stuff but everything I did in here is just like a very neutral and I just enjoyed using this journal so much I'm still using it but it's just I haven't had a chance to uh, like a study so much well I'm using this journal like a study for like a study or pre practice for my stoicism kind of stuff because I just really like stoicism I just added some gouache paints yesterday um, but yeah this is like what mine looks like and I'm just loving it that's why I made it last time and I'm bringing this back to the shop again this time and that's the, the fold out page that I haven't really done anything well here I can talk something in here but it's just I haven't really done much but I really need to get back to this journal so this is I guess the end of my um, video thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day bye